Well, the amazing thing is how many people still are sticking with him. He has been shown to cheat everything he meets just about. He's cheated his workers, his creditors, his consumers, Trump University. Uh, he's, he's cheated taxpayers. He doesn't pay hardly any taxes, and he's a corporate welfare king. Uh, and The New York Times today called him the uh, king of the tax break. Yeah. And, uh, and here he is. He has people who have relatively modest income who are being ripped off right and left. They're supporting him. Uh, that's what happens when you only have two choices and they can't stand Hillary. They go for him because he's the outsider. And also, they do want to believe. That's the history of politics when he said, don't worry, I'll fix the immigration. I'll fix the health care. We're going to get rid of Obamacare, but I've got a plan. He never says what the plan mm -hmm. is. He is a boastful prevaricator of the first order. And the only reason he's on the stage is because we have a two-party tyranny. And he's made a lot of money for the media, which gives him free publicity. So he has turned politics from a circus into a burlesque show. Mm. And, and that's interesting for people. You know, people turn on the TV, they watch the debate. It's going to be the biggest uh, debate turnout in history. Dan Rather today. wrote this week that um, politi the, the pressmen, I think he said, or journalists are falling over backwards yeah. to be fair, and that's what... Trump has been able to manipulate. I, I thought, you know, ratings have a bit to do with it. Well, look, the, the, the problem is, is worse than that. This man is an empty suit. Yeah. He's a boaster, uh, and he's a bully, and he's a liar, and he never corrects himself. You put those traits in the White House, you have disaster.